We are back at it again, with more highlights of the chef cooking up some magic. With the two-time MVP having one of his greatest seasons to date during the 2020-2021 campaign, it's hard not to make yet another video of the Warriors superstar. This time, we're going to take a look at 10 times he sauced up defenders with crossovers that made the defenders look straight up silly. Number 10, his crossover versus Justin Holiday. For the chef's first course, he cooked up something a little extra special for his old teammate Justin Holiday. With the third quarter winding down with under two minutes to go, Curry went into his bag of tricks and pulled out this one. Casually running down the floor with the ball in his hand, the Pacers are fooled into thinking that Steph's going to set up the offense and let the play develop. Herein lies the brilliance of Steph that so many people underappreciate. Here, he's able to read that the Pacer guards have fallen asleep as he takes the ball up, so he decides to attack. Just as Curry passes the half-court logo, Justin Holiday shifts over to defend the Warriors guard. Instead of employing a series of moves, Curry dribbled behind the back towards Holiday, pulling the ball towards him before crossing over and sidestepping for a three-pointer. The move happened so quickly that Holiday hardly got a hand up, which probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. I mean, do you really think that Steph was going to miss a wide open three after that move? Number nine, his crossover versus Paul George. Now I'll give Paul George some credit for this one. He did defend Steph pretty well. However, like in most cases, defending pretty well isn't enough to stop this flame-throwing Hall of Fame shooting specialist from splashing shots. With the game well in the Warriors' favor and an opportunity to ice the game, Steph went to work as usual. Sizing up the all-star forward, Steph isolated George on the right wing and quickly crossed the ball over to his left hand. This move forced George to shift to the right side of Curry's body, allowing Steph to have that inside step. Instead of choosing to drive to the rim, utilizing his left hand, Steph pulled a behind-the-back dribble move and sent George the other way before pulling up for a three. Honestly, this move shows exactly why even all NBA defenders like Paul George still struggle to stop Steph after all these years. He's always one step ahead on the court. Maybe next time, PG. Maybe next time. Number 8. A Crossover versus George Hill in the midst of an epic 11-game stretch this season that saw him average 40 points per game on 50% shooting from three, George Hill became yet another victim of the Curry Show. Once again, with the game on the line against the East-leading Sixers, Curry led the Warriors to another improbable win and iced the game with this dagger three from the top of the key. With Hill drawing the assignment near the half-court line, Curry employed a behind-the-back dribble and drove to his right, allowing Hill to catch up. Just when Hill thought he had gotten into the proper position, BAM! Curry drove hard with his left hand towards the rim, stopped on a dime, and stepped back for a long triple. Where did Hill end up, you might ask? Well, like most defenders, he stood at the top of the key and stared as Curry drained a wide-open triple. Splash! Number 7, Crossover versus DeAnthony Melton. Now, I will say this, DeAnthony Melton is one of the more talented defenders in the NBA, but I will also say this, when it's Steph Curry, it rarely matters. Once again, with the game on the line, Steph went to work and finished off the Grizzlies. Sizing up Melton on the right wing, Curry dribbled between his legs a few times, then went for a behind-the-back crossover in an attempt to get to the basket. Melton, to his credit, did stop Curry's attempt at a drive to the bucket, but Curry quickly pivoted. With Melton on his shoulder, Curry pulled back and bought himself some space. However, as a variation of his normal step-back triple, Curry did one more dribble between the legs to freeze Melton in his tracks, and that was enough for Steph, who stepped back and drained the triple. Number 6, his crossover versus Kemba Walker. Now Kemba, unlike DeAnthony Melton, is not one of the better defenders in the league. In fact, some may say that the former Celtic guard is somewhat of a liability on defense, especially with his recent knee issues. Agree with them or not, Steph sure made Kemba look like a liability, blowing past the former UConn star with a nifty crossover to the basket. On the right wing, once again, Steph sized up Kemba by dribbling between his legs several times. Then, once he read where Kemba was positioned, he crossed between the legs again, 
only to pull the ball behind his back and hesitate before blowing past and finishing with a nifty reverse layup. Kemba was left, well, in the dust. Don't feel bad, Kemba. It happens to most players. Number five, crossover versus Dorian Finney-Smith. To be honest, this play looks a lot more routine than it actually should be. But that's just what Steph does, you know? Makes difficult plays look routine. In an early season matchup with the Mavericks, Steph brought his best to the table against Luka. With a Draymond Green screen to his left, Curry sized up Dorian Finney-Smith on the right wing yet again and utilized a series of crossover moves to freeze Finney-Smith. With a quick behind-the-back dribble, Curry utilized a Draymond Green screen to draw a matchup with Chris Stapp's Porzingis at the top of the key. Without Finney Smith breathing down his neck, Curry drove to the rim and floated a left-handed layup over the outstretched arms of Porzingis. Number 4. His Crossover versus Maxi Kleber Same game, same result. Late in the fourth quarter with yet another dazzling performance under his belt, Steph went to work on the Mavericks forward Maxi Kleber. With a simple crossover, in and out dribble, and his patented hezzy, Curry blew past the entire Mavericks team while drawing oohs and ahs from a virtual Dallas crowd. Number 3. A Drive Crossover versus Robert Covington Now, Robert Covington's strength is defense. In fact, he's one of the most valuable wings in the league because of his defensive ability. But just like Paul George, Curry made Covington look like a fool on this play. After switching and drawing the matchup with Rocco, Steph did what he always does. He isolated him, he sized him up, and he crossed him over several times before throwing in a few hesitations to blow past the Blazers wing for a layup. Number two, Steph's crossover on Gary Trent Jr. This one was pretty nasty in all honesty. In the same game that Curry clowned Covington, he took Gary Trent Jr. to school too. En route to a career high 62 point night, Curry quietly made his best play with four minutes left in the third. After drawing a screen on the right wing, Curry dribbled to the right, only to break Trent down with a simple crossover before splashing one of his eight triples that night. And number one, Steph shot over Kem Birch. While this play certainly may have been the least flashiest of them all, it's still a worthy play on the list. In a game against the Orlando Magic, Steph went to work in a variety of ways, handing out dimes, driving to the bucket, and making highlight reel plays as usual. On this particular play, Steph ran up the court in transition and drew a matchup with Magic center Kem Birch. Instantly recognizing the mismatch, Curry threw a few hesitations Birch's way before running to the right side of the court, stopping, crossing over, and stepping back for a routine three-point jumper. Man, oh man, does this guy make these highlight crossover plays look routine or what? It's truly amazing how talented Steph is, and the best part is, he's aging like a fine wine. While the Warriors' future may hinge on the development of their young core, one thing will remain certain. The chef will still be cooking. By the way, have you ever wondered what it takes to become a two-time MVP like Steph Curry? Well, if you were ever curious, I've actually got a video right here. All the routines, the daily habits, it's intense, guys, and I'm sure you'll love it. Click it, watch it, enjoy it, and as always, I'll see you on the other side.